Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here today in the Gripen, uh, and we're gonna be dogfighting. It's kind of a bandit unknown, guns only. Um, so I'll react to whatever shows up here. I'll climb here, see what that is. That's a hornet. That's definitely a hornet. Although the Hornet is a really good one circle fighter, I think that the Gripen is also pretty good, especially with the canards. The canards tend to uh, give extra lift, depending on what they're designed to do on an aircraft. Um, but generally speaking, they provide higher AOA, better control at slow speeds, that kind of stuff. Um, shorter takeoff, shorter landing distances, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm kind of not scared to go one circle with the Hornet. Uh, I think maybe we can do something interesting here. Uh, as of right now, it feels like we're in a one circle. Yeah, for sure. This is nose to nose. So this will be a one circle now. Just rolling with them in this uh, downward spiral kind of thing. And just being super careful to avoid his nose and basically, uh, you know, generally like 40 degrees above his nose. Because that thing has very good AOA. His 40 is about safe, I think. He slipped underneath there. Look at this. We're actually doing a pretty decent job staying with him so far. I'm just climbing over his nose because he got behind me there a little bit. There we go. That was real tight. And once again, I'm going to roll over. We're slowly getting him out in front. We're just squeezing this hornet out. Here we go. Just didn't have the AOA to pull him into the HUD there. And we're both working really hard to s try to squeeze the other guy out in front. He almost had me there. And we're down to the ground, so now the margins are a little bit tighter. Look at this, he's got me out in front. This is not good. I'm gonna climb up. Look at this. Oh, he went out in front. I got super slow there, pulled the nose up, and basically turned the aircraft into an air brake. That's the uh, stall speed indicator there. Look at this, this is how slow I am. It's so slow I can't even really point the nose because I have no airspeed. Uh, I think I forgot the master arm. I'm not sure if my gun even works. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, there we go. We're good. Gun works. <laughs> okay. Alright. Still got him in this one circle fight. This time he's out in front. I think he's consistently going out in front, so I think we can probably do something from here. Line it up. Yes, yes, there we go. Took off that right wing. I think anyone who ditched to the two circle from there would have died. The other one would have got inside of his turn circle and killed him. So it was always going to be a one circle fight. Uh, that was a good fight. Hornet put up a great fight. Alright, so that was pretty decent. Decent one circle performance out of the Gripen, and not bad. Um, 
I'm sure it's probably pretty good in the two circle too, but I haven't had an opportunity to try that out yet. Uh, again, it depends on what we merge with and what we'll do. That looks to me like, yeah, that's a flanker right here. Into the merge. Russian flanker. Alright, careful with the flanker. The flanker, very dangerous dogfighter. Especially if he turns off his flight control systems, his aircraft will do some very uh, unexpected things. Look at him as he rolls over top here. He's actually got behind me already. It's a really nice move here. I'm going to roll with him, see if I can do to him what I did to the Hornet. If we can get the same effect. Just squeeze him out in front here. Nice and gentle. Oh, look at this. He's not having any of that. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Punch out. I did not... I didn't expect him to be able to do that. He walked those tracers right onto me there. Alright, so the uh, flanker is actually a pretty difficult target it seems. Uh, going one circle with the flanker maybe wasn't the smartest idea, but it's also not the smartest idea against the Hornet, so I thought maybe we could uh, force a mistake, but unfortunately the flanker forced the mistake from me, forced me out in front and just took a shot. Uh, that, I didn't even notice what that was. What even was that? That was an F-16, actually. I can see it now. Here it is. Yeah. F-16 Viper. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm going to try to force one circle with them. I'm not going to go two circle with an F-16. There he goes. Remember, we're looking for him to get slow. Oh, oh, oh. Watch his nose here. Careful of his nose here. And just pull up a little because you won't have the AOA to pull up with me. And look at this. We got him lured into a one circle from here. I'll roll on top of him. And that is one slow Viper. He's in big trouble. He got slow to take that shot. And here we go, we got him up top. He's trying to pull away a little bit. He's trying to extend out into his two circle fight. He kind of got away with it. I'm just gonna pull him into the HUD and just take a little burst at him here. Let me see if I can, almost had him there. Almost had him. Cause he's creating too much separation by extending away to build his speed. And that's allowing me to pull him into the HUD and take a, possible shot at him. He's doing it again here. Look at this. Extending to build that speed. Let me see if I can pull him out of the hut here. Come on. Just a little burst. Just... Oh! <laughs> Alright. There you go. That was a little burst. Just a one second little burst. Talk about accuracy. Wow. That was really impressive. I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> I don't think he saw that coming. Neither did I. Wow. Just the smallest little burst. I'm having a really good time sniping guys in Vipers for some reason. Uh, we had that one video a couple days ago, I think, where I was blindly shooting with the flanker and I just connected with the F-16's wing. And then this time to just do a quick little burst that connects, I think that's uh, pretty lucky. Into the merge there and that looks... Is that a Jeff?
Yeah, that's a JF-17 here. This is the uh, fighter that Pakistan uses, built uh, in joint with the Chinese. But I don't think China is using them. Uh, here we go, we got them. This, this thing's actually a little bit weird. It's A lot of people say it overperforms a little bit, but... In terms of one circle and two circle, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem here for the Gripen. I'm gonna avoid his nose here. Really nice, almost got the shot there. Uh, that thing has a really hard time getting rounds on target because unlike other aircraft whose gun is slanted up to help with lead, this thing's gun is slanted 8 degrees down, which means that he has to pull a tremendous amount of lead in order to get rounds on target. And that's already hard enough to get lead on, on an aircraft you're dogfighting. Now he's got to work even harder. Almost had him there, a little bit of FPS drop, but it's okay. We had no shot anyway. Just holding him here. It does feel neutral so far. Maybe he'll cross the nose. He's doing a decent job of avoiding it so far. Oh, I just pulled up. I pulled up and he slid underneath there and now he's out in front. And he's going to cross the HUD. No, he's not. It was really close though. Almost. I'm going to do a flat scissor here. To squeeze him out in front. He didn't expect that. Look at this. He's out in front. Rounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I caught him off guard with the flat scissor. And we got ourselves a one damaged JF-17. Unfortunately, white smoke is generally not a huge issue. Uh, it's probably fuel leak or something like that. Black smoke is bad. White smoke, also not good. He can't just, you know, leak white smoke indefinitely. But, you know, like I said, it's still better than black smoke. Black smoke, you know, indicates fire on board. And that's obviously catastrophic. Uh, here he goes, trying to pull into the raid fight. He's had enough of the one circle. A little late for that decision. And I'm gonna, I'm inside of the circle. And there we go. Rounds on target. And that's one dead JF-17. Actually put up a pretty good fight, the JF-17. Uh, really the only thing that challenged the grip in here was the flanker. 